Hello, 47. We've got some business at the Paris Opera. There are two targets, the famous tenor and Richard Della Hunt, the American ambassador to the Vatican. Our client claims they're behind a prostitution ring trafficking in boys and girls from Eastern Europe. Tosca is still in rehearsal, so there's plenty of activity at the Opera House and you shouldn't be too conspicuous. Ambassador Della Hunt watches most rehearsals from his box. He travels with an armed escort, but there shouldn't be any other security to speak of. You'll get some cover from the construction crews renovating the theatre for the new season. We've also left you a pickup in the cloakroom. In the third act of Tosca, the tenor faces a firing squad. That scene may provide a useful opportunity. It's a straightforward assignment, 47, but the agency's been having some problems in Paris. Use extreme caution. Here is your jacket, sir. Don't you want the jacket, sir? No, just needed something from one of the pockets. I'll pick it up later. What's going on here? There is for Milan, but there is also much construction. Very busy. I'm sorry it's not a more lovely experience. I see. But it's an open rehearsal. Bien sûr. We have many guests all the time. You talk English. Today we have American ambassador to the Vatican. He watch from second floor loge. He come all the time. The ambassador's a big opera fan? Opera, maybe. Mainly I think he's a fan of Alvaro. More than fan, more than friend. As to me, they are, um, how do you say? I understand. On dirait un vrai. Heureusement que ce ne l'est pas.
Dieu merci que ce n'est qu'un décor. Ça l'aurait explosé. Maintenant. Il ne bouge plus. Monsieur Dalbad, tout va bien Il y a du sang Qu'est-ce qui se passe Il est mort Oh mon dieu Oh mon dieu Je l'ai tué Mais qui a fait ça Ça va Dead. No No, my darling, my friend No Move, move out of my way No, no, you're not dead. You can't be dead. Who did this You think that was 47-2? We knew it was. We were so confident we set up an international task force to hunt him down and destroy him. Even assuming this guy exists, he's still just an assassin. What's the big deal? The big deal? He's the perfect clone. His DNA is a how-to manual for any cloning lab in the world. With Mr. 47 in their clutches, There'd be nothing to stop a rogue state from building an entire platoon of 47s. A whole army. These public statements you've been making against cloning, is this what it's all about? Of course. But surely you can't oppose all the uses of cloning. The medical advances, the possible curing of- Medicine won't do us much good if we're all the slaves of some clone army dictatorship, will it? Off the record, Jack. You're not serious. You have no idea how serious. That's why we had to eliminate 47. Having him on the loose was just too dangerous. Why not go after whoever created him? Oh, we did. But whenever we got too close, our agents got killed. By 47? See for yourself. <laughs> 